This video is for all the professionals working on the profile of translators, terminologists, and interpreters and are willing to migrate to or work in Canada. It will provide you an in-depth knowledge about the National Occupational Classification Code of Translators, Terminologists, and Interpreters. So, let's start the video. Hi, I am Lily and welcome to our channel A2Z Immigration Updates. We make informational and latest news videos regarding global immigration. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon, so that you can get the most updated immigration news and information. In Canada every skill profile has a unique code that is called National Occupational Classification Code or NOC Code. This code tells us about the detailed information associated with the profile and regarding the key parameters like Profile Description or Profile Lead Statements Key responsibility area and AMP, main job duties, employment requirements, alternative and illustrative job titles, job titles in exclusion. So, first of all let's see the NOC code and its description for the profile of this video. The National Occupation Classification Code or NOC Code for the Profile of Translators, Terminologists, and Interpreters is 5125. As per Statistics Canada the profile description of translators, terminologists, and interpreters is as follows. Translators translate written material from one language to another. Interpreters translate oral communication from one language to another during speeches, meetings, conferences, debates in conversation, or in court or before administrative tribunals. Terminologists conduct research to itemize terms connected with a certain field, define them and find equivalents in another language. Sign language interpreters use sign language to translate spoken language and vice versa during meetings, conversations, television programs, or in other instances. Translators, terminologists, and interpreters are employed by government, private translation and interpretation agencies, in-house translation services, large private corporations, international organizations, and the media, or they may be self-employed. Sign language interpreters work in schools and courts, and for social service agencies, interpretation services, government services, and television stations, or they may be self-employed. Key Responsibility Area Human Resources and Skill Development Canada has defined a proper set of job roles for every NOC code. There is not any fixed guideline for meeting all the requirements. As per the recommendation of experts a person should meet at least 50% of the job responsibilities, mentioned in the NOC code. Now let's discuss the key job responsibilities associated with your profile. So, here we go. Main job duties of an translators, terminologists, and interpreters are as follows. Translate a variety of written materials such as correspondence, reports, legal documents, technical specifications, and textbooks from one language to another, maintaining the content, context, and style of the original material to the greatest extent possible. Localize software and accompanying technical documents to adapt them to another language and culture. Revise and correct translated material. May train and supervise other translators. Terminologists perform some or all of the following duties. Identify the terminology used in a field of activity. Conduct terminological research on a given subject or in response to inquiries for the preparation of glossaries, terminology banks, technological files, dictionaries, lexicons, and resource centers, and add to terminological databases. Manage, update, and circulate linguistic information collected from terminological databases. Provide consultative services to translators, interpreters, and technical writers preparing legal, scientific or other documents that require specialized terminologies. Interpreters perform some or all of the following duties. Interpret oral communication from one language to another aloud or using electronic equipment, either simultaneously, as the speaker speaks, consecutively, after the speaker speaks, or whispered, speaking in a low whisper to one or two persons as the speaker is talking. 
provide interpretation services in court or before administrative tribunals. May interpret language for individuals and small groups traveling in Canada and abroad. May interpret for persons speaking an Aboriginal or foreign language in a variety of circumstances. May train other interpreters. Translators, terminologists, and interpreters specialize in two languages, such as French and English, the official languages of Canada. They may also specialize in another language and one of the official languages. The main areas of specialization include administrative, literary, scientific, and technical translation. Interpreters may specialize in court, parliamentary or conference interpretation. Sign language interpreters perform some or all of the following duties. Translate sign language to a spoken language and vice versa either simultaneously or consecutively. Sign language interpreters work in French and Langue des Signes Chu, B, Khois, LSQ, or in English and American Sign Language, ASL. Employment Requirements and Other Additional Information In this section we will discuss the employment requirements for your profile. Every job has a specific set of employment requirements associated with it. The main employment requirements factors includes 1. Type and level of formal education. 2. Specific training or apprenticeship. 3. Experience in the same or other related occupations. 4. Licenses, certification and registration to practice in a regulated profession, extra. Before moving further let's understand the employment eligibility requirements and other additional information associated with your profile. Following our employment requirements for the profile of translators, terminologists, and interpreters. A university degree in translation with a specialization in translation, interpretation, or terminology in two languages including at least one of the two official languages or a university degree in a related discipline such as languages, linguistics, philology and courses in linguistic transfer and two years experience as a full-time translator working in two languages, at least one of which is an official language or five years of experience as a full-time translator working in two languages, at least one of which is an official language, are required. Sign language interpreters require a college training program or a university certificate in sign language interpretation. Certification on dossier or by examination from the Canadian translators, terminologists, and interpreters council may be required for translators, terminologists and interpreters. Sign language interpreters may require a certificate or certification evaluation in LSQ or ASL. Fluency in three languages is usually required for translators or interpreters working in an international context. Membership in a provincial or territorial association of translators, interpreters, and terminologists may be required. Membership in a provincial association of sign language interpreters may be required. Use of professional titles may be regulated in some provinces. Illustrative job titles and exclusions. Every job role or employment can have multiple profile titles. So if you are not able to find the exact job title for your profile then you need not to worry. Now we will see the list of illustrative and alternative titles for your profile. This section is a list of titles commonly used in the labor market. We will also see the exclusions list that is the list of titles that cannot be covered under your profile. So let's have a glimpse of it. Illustrative titles for the profile of translators, terminologists, and interpreters are as follows. Community interpreter. Conference interpreter. Court interpreter. Interpreter. The list is quite large, so... If you want to read all the alternative profile titles then you can pause this video and can have a proper glimpse. Now let's see the exclusion list. Authors and Writers, see 5121 Authors and Writers. Editors, see 5122 Editors. Language Instructors, C4021 College and other vocational instructors. Linguists, C4169 Other Professional Occupations in Social Science, NEC. So, 
this was all about the profile of translators, terminologists, and interpreters with NOC code 5125. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited helps you to migrate to Canada on work permit or on PR. Our motive is to convert your immigration dreams into reality. We assist you in Canadian style resume and cover letter preparation. Mapping the best employment opportunities with your skill set. Employment consultation and job search. Online skill profile preparation and branding. Education credential assessment filing Canada. Migration skill assessment filing Australia. Expression of interest EUI filing. LMIA work visa PR business visa filing. If you need any further information, then you can contact our team of expert registered migration and employment consultants. Our team will help you to explore the employment, work visa and other immigration opportunities for your profile in Canada and Australia. Click on the booking link mentioned in the description to reserve an expert session for a detailed discussion to explore your immigration opportunities. We also assist employers to file LMIA with Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC. So if you are an employer in Canada we can help you to get the best manpower for your company. Canadian immigration is a merit-based immigration process and your selection under most of the immigration programs depends upon your age, education, experience, English language capability, spouses' educations and experience, employment availability through LMIA, provincial nomination extra. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited provide a one-stop online platform with all kind of immigration services for our global customers. You can have online consultancy sessions, assessment application filing and all kind of visa processing assistance by our team of experts. If you want to do a self-assessment and check your eligibility for immigration, then click on the link attached in the description and download our app to do your immigration assessment yourself. Also watch our other videos related to work visa filing and finding a job in Canada from your home country. So, if you like our video then don't forget to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the most updated information regarding global immigration. Thanks, and we will meet again with one another informative video soon.